So hi everyone and a very good morning to all of you. Welcome back once again to another class of PIB 247. My name is Manish Mishra and in today's class we'll be talking about the PIB news from 15th to 17th of June 2023. And I hope the upcoming RBI grade B examination preparations are going well. And whatever you have done till now, just focus on revision and revision and revision, right? Barba revise karte ro cheezo ko to make the things uh, perfect uh, because uh, main bar bar keh raha hu ki 10 cheezo ko ek bar mat padho ek cheez ko 10 bar padho right so let's begin with the class today guys and let's talk about the very first question uh, which says and there are some very important questions today so you guys have to focus all right so ministry of finance in consultation with the reserve bank of india has decided to issue sovereign gold bonds in two tranches of 23 24 uh, in in 23 24 which of the following statements is incorrect about sovereign gold bond scheme now you must be wondering we have recently discussed the sovereign gold bond scheme in uh, in the government schemes revision class then why am i discussing it today because uh, in pib they have released a lamba chora release about uh, uh, the sovereign gold bond and they go they say there are very less chances that a question will come from sovereign gold bond because last year we had a question on uh, this scheme in esi paper but you never know, it's not necessary that one time the question comes, it can't come the next time. Last time, if it they can ask this question in phase one. Right? So this scheme is very, very important. So let's talk about it. And there are certain new uh, information as well, which we have not covered yet. But PIB, mein, mujhe, matlab, uh, those are not relevant, although, but PIB has done it. So I think it's been relevant. Ho hai. Hai? So let's talk about the sovereign gold bond scheme. So first of all, it is being implemented by Ministry of Finance. Ministry of Finance, which is currently headed by Ms. Uh, Nirmala Sitaraman. The issuance of sovereign gold bond is on the is uh, uh, by RBI on behalf of the government of India. Eligibility: Who can buy the sovereign gold bond? Who can uh, uh, you know take the sovereign gold bonds? So resident individuals, Hindu undivided families, trusts, universities, and charitable institutions. Which means this is not applicable for NRIs, right? Denomination, multiple of grams of gold with a basic unit of one gram. That is the denomination. Tenor ki baat kare, to eight years ka tenor hota, sovereign gold bond ka and the redemption is, redemption is allowed only after the fifth year, right? Fifth year. This was the question that was asked in the uh, 2022 examination. The minimum limit is uh, one gram and there is no maximum limit. Oh yes, there is a maximum limit. We, we do not have any maximum limit in the gold monetization scheme. Yeah, I'm sorry for that. So maximum limit per fiscal year is 4 kg for individual, 4 kg for our Hindu undivided families, 20 kg for trust and similar entities. Now here annual ceiling, which means the maximum limit per year. Maximum limit per fiscal year means uh, this includes SGB subscribed under different tranches and those purchased from secondary market as well. As an you have the primary market, those limits are Overall, jitna bhi aapne kharida hai, whether it is from primary market, directly from the RBI or from the secondary market. Secondary market ka matlab ye hai ki these bonds are tradable also. So if you are uh, buying it from the secondary market, then also this limit will, app, uh, you know, will be applicable. There is a joint holder uh, limit uh, also, which means the bonds can be hold in, you know, joint names. Investment limit of 4 kg will be applied to the first applicant only. Issue price ki baat kare, it is fixed in Indian rupees on the basis of simple average of closing price of gold. Whatever is the closing price of gold, uska simple average and that gold should be of triple line purity. Now, what is the meaning of triple line purity? That is not our concern and that is not uh, important for us. Closing price jo hoga, wo kaun publish karega? That will be published by India Bullion and Jewelers Association Limited. This is something new which we are discussing for the first time in several gold bond. So closing price will be published by India Bullion and Jewelers Association Limited for last three working days of week preceding the subscription period. Okay. And 50 rupees per gram uh, less milega for those investors who subscribe online and pay through digital mode. All right. Talking more about it. So payment options. So in cash, you can pay up to a maximum of rupees 20,000 and uh, rest demand draft check or electronic banking. You can use either mode of payment if you are paying it through cash, then you can only pay up to a maximum of rupees 20,000. Issuance form ki baat kare, it will be issued as Government of India stock under Government Securities Act of 2006 and the investors uh, will get a certificate of holding for the same. 
एंड दीज आर एलिजिबल टू कन्वर्ट इन टू डी मैट फॉर्म ऑल्सो आप इसको डी मेटेलाइज फॉर्म में भी कन्वर्ट कर सकते हो ना वॉट इज द रिडम्शन प्राइस इफ एनी वन वॉन्ट टू रिडम रिडीम इट देन वॉट इज द प्राइस सो इट विल बी इन इंडियन रुपीज बेस्ड ऑन सिंपल एवरेज ऑफ क्लोजिंग प्राइस ऑफ गोल्ड ऑफ अगेन ट्रिपल नाइन प्योरिटी ऑफ प्रीवियस थ्री वर्किंग डेज पब्लिश बाय आई बी जे ए लिमिटेड ठीक है जी सेज चैनल हु कैन यू नो विच आर दी सेलिंग एजेंसीज कौन कौन इन बॉन्ड्स को सेल कर सकता है तो ऑल द शेड्यूल कमर्शियल बैंक एक्सेप्ट स्मॉल फाइनेंस बैंक पेमेंट बैंक एंड रीजनल रूरल बैंक रिमेंबर दिस बैंक दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट then stock holding corporation of india limited can also sell it clearing corporation of india limited can sell it designated post offices as may be notified by the government of india or rbi and recognized stock exchanges which are nac and bsc and the interest rate we all know is fixed that is 2.5% per annum payable semi annually right jo interest hai wo aapke account mein semi annually aa jaye all right now collateral yes the bonds can be used as collateral for loans and for these loans loan to value ratio will be applicable as per the ordinary gold loan for which the rbi decides the rate tax treatment yes the investment is taxable of course these are taxable the interest on sgb shall be taxable as per the provision of income tax act the capital gains tax arising on redemption of sgb to an individual is exempted individual ke liye exempted hai but not for hindu undivided families and charitable institution or trust or universities indexation benefit will also be provided to long term capital gains arising to any person on transfer of the sgb now what is this indexation benefit main aapko short mein bata deta hu baki ye sari cheeze rbi 247 mein kai baar discuss ki gayi hai indexation benefits basically adjust the value of asset adjust the value of asset as per the uh, inflation as per the ongoing inflation and this reduces this reduces the tax burden over the investors all right tradeability ki baat kare to i already told you that sgbs are uh, eligible for trading and slr eligibility ki baat kare so can banks use these bonds for slr yes they can use it but only in the case when they are acquiring sgbs through process of invoking lien hypothecation or pledge and what is this lien hypothecation or pledge so these are the you know charges of the bank uh for which uh, which they take for uh using any asset as the collateral matlab agar aap koi uske paas koi cheez giri bhi rakhne jaate ho to jo charge lagta hai that is known as what lien hypothecation or pledge theek hai now again these terms are explained in detail in rbi 247 various times so i am not going to into the details of it right so banks acquiring sgbs through process of invoking the lien hypothecation of pledge alone will be counted towards sla all right So guys, that is all about SGBs, and now let's identify the incorrect statement. NRIs are eligible to subscribe SGBs with a maximum limit of two kgs. Pehla hi statement incorrect hai, which means the statement option A is the correct answer because we need to identify the incorrect statement. And rest of the statements are absolutely correct. Let's move ahead. We'll be देख लेते हैं. Bank acquisition of SGBs will be counted towards statutory liquidity ratio. Yes. Uh, indexation benefits are available on long term capital gains arising to any person on transfer of the sgb ye bhi theek hai uh, designated post office are also eligible in case of joint holding investment limit of 4 kg is applied to the first applicant only yes so option a is the correct answer i hope this scheme is clear question number 2 is about another program where where we have to identify correct statement and the name of the program is wiser which stands for women involvement in science and engineering research women involvement in science and engineering research program is the name and we need to identify the correct statement right so why it is in news because recently 10 women researchers from india and three from germany were awarded under the wiser program now uh, why these women uh, why these women uh, are awarded so that is for promoting women researchers in india and germany to participate and collaborate in ongoing research and development and innovation projects right and that is actually the objective of wiser program only right and remember very important thing that it is a indo indo german collaboration program and the women were awarded on the occasion of 13th foundation day of indo german science and technology center theek okay? hai it was established in the year 2010 2010 mein ye organization bani thi now talking about uh, wiser program so ऑब्जेक्टिव आप लोगों को समझ में आ गया होगा इसके नाम से वुमेन इन साइंस एंड इंजीनियरिंग रिसर्च व्हिच मींस दिस प्रोग्राम इज फॉर प्रमोटिंग वुमेन प्रमोटिंग द रोल ऑफ वुमेन इन साइंस एंड इंजीनियरिंग रिसर्च 
एंड दीज वुमेन विल बी फ्रॉम इंडिया एंड जर्मनी इंडिया और जर्मनी दोनों से होंगी इट वॉज लॉन्च टू थाउजेंड एंड ट्वेंटी वन बाई इंडो जर्मन साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी सेंटर एंड ट्वेंटी अवार्ड्स पर ईयर आर ऑफर्ड फाइनेंशियल सपोर्ट कितना मिलता है रिसर्च करने के लिए सो मैक्सिमम थर्टी नाइन लैक्स फ्रॉम इंडियन साइड एंड फोर्टी एट थाउजेंड यूरो फ्रॉम जर्मन साइड एंड फॉर डूइंग रिसर्च अंडर वाइजर प्रोग्राम देर इज नो रिक्वायरमेंट ऑफ ब्रेक इन द करियर और एनी काइंड ऑफ एज लिमिट विच मीन्स इफ अ वुमेन इज डूइंग एनी थिंग देन शी कैन कैरी ऑन हर वर्क शी कैन कैरी ऑन हर बिजनेस बट शी कैन साइड वाइज डू द रिसर्च अंडर वाइजर प्रोग्राम एंड इन्वॉल्वमेंट ऑफ वुमेन इन द प्रोग्राम इज थ्रू लेटर लेंट Now talking about this Indo-German Science Technology Center. So it was established in the year two thousand and ten by Department of Science and Technology from the Government of India side, and by Federal Ministry of Education and Research from the Government of Germany. And the objective is, of course, to promote science and technology collaboration with a focus on applied research and technology development. Okay. So guys, that is all about it. And let's identify the correct statement. It is an initiative of Indo-German Science and Technology Center. Correct. It was launched in 2021 to support scientists from India and Germany. ये भी ठीक है. Under the program, awardees are provided with a maximum amount of 39 lakh from Indian side and 48,000 euro from the German. ये भी ठीक बात है. Women having break in career or age above 40 years are not eligible. There is no such criteria here. There is no such uh, provision here. So this statement is incorrect. Which means the correct answer is option D, one, two, and three only. Let's talk about question number three. India's seafood exports have touched an all-time high in financial year 22-23, both in the terms of volume and value. In financial year 22-23, India shipped dash of seafood worth dash. You need to fill this gap. Now, guys, in this particular news, let me tell you this: you have to do only selected things because the government has provided, you know, a long list of the various uh, food items, seafood items. Okay, so. एक्चुअली इट इज नॉट पॉसिबल टू डू द डेटा जो भी डेटा भी हम आगे पढ़ेंगे वो सारा करना पॉसिबल भी नहीं है सो आई एम टेल यू विच डेटा यू हैव टू लर्न विच डेटा यू हैव टू रिमेम्बर रेस्ट यू कैन लीव राइट हाउ एवर द नबार्ड एक्सपीरियंस कैन गो फॉर द रेस्ट ऑफ द डेटा एज वेल ऑल दो उनके लिए भी बहुत मुश्किल होगा ये सारा याद करने का बट नबार्ड हैज द टेंडेंस टू आस्क वेरी यू नो वेरी वेरी डिफरेंट क्वेश्चन वेरी बहुत ही वियर्ड क्वेश्चन पूछने की उसकी आदत है सो यू नेवर नो दैट नबार्ड इज गोइंग टू आस्क question from this data right so in financial year 22 23 india shipped 17 lakh 35286 million ton of seafood worth rupees 63969.14 crores which is 8.09 billion dollars this is very important out of all out of all the data which we are going to discuss this is very important in 21 22 india exported around 13 lakh million ton of seafood worth 57000 crore or Seven thousand seven fifty nine point five eight million dollars. This is not important. You can ignore it. Now let's talk about item wise. So talking about frozen shrimp. So the overall export is seven lakh eleven thousand ninety nine million ton. This you have to remember why because frozen shrimps remain the major export item in terms of both quantity and value. मतलब it is the highest exported uh, uh, item in terms of both quantity and value. ठीक है, the top market was USA, the top market was the USA. ठीक है, ये वाली दो तीन चीज़ आपको इसमें याद रखनी है. This you can ignore. This third point you can ignore. Black tiger shrimp, its exports increased by this much percent, this much percent, this much percent, this much percent in quantity, rupee value, and US dollar. So see, you can see here this much data is humanly not possible to remember. So I am telling you to ignore it. Nabar experience, I would suggest you can give at least one or two. Read to it. ठीक है. The top market of black tiger was Japan, followed by European Union and USA. बस ये वाली चीज़ याद रख लो. What was the top market for black tiger shrimp? That was Japan. Wanamai shrimp. It was you know it the export declined in financial year 22-23 compared to 21-22. Yeah. Remember this thing. They can also ask like this that most of the food items में जो है वो export has increased, but wanamai shrimp पे it has declined. So you should remember the just the name that. In which of the following items, uh, the export, the seafood. In which of the following seafood items, the export declined. So the answer would be one of my shrimp in this case. Okay. Frozen fish. Me, आपको ये बात याद रखनी है that it is the second largest export item, uh, followed by uh, you know after after frozen shrimp. 
फ्रोजन श्रिम्प नंबर वन पे था सेकेंड नंबर पे वी हैव फ्रोजन फिश ठीक है बाकी चीजें आपको याद रखने की जरूरत नहीं है नॉट इंपॉर्टेंट अदर आइटम्स अदर आइटम्स में बहुत सारे आइटम्स आते हैं यू डोंट हैव टू रिमेंबर ऑल दी आइटम्स रिमेंबर दैट दी अदर आइटम कैटेगरी वॉज द थर्ड लार्जेस्ट एक्सपोर्ट बास्केट वर्थ सिक्स फिफ्टी एट पॉइंट एट फोर मिलियन डॉलर और कौन कौन से इसमें आते हैं अदर आइटम्स में सुरीमी फ्रोजन ऑक्टोबस सुरीमी एनोलॉग प्रोडक्ट्स कैंड प्रोडक्ट्स एंड फ्रोजन लॉबस्टर्स ये सारे नंबर्स आप लोगों को याद करने की जरूरत नहीं है आई डोंट फील कि ये इसमें से आएगा भी एंड इवन इफ एक क्वेश्चन आ भी जाए एंड उस क्वेश्चन को अटेम्प करने में जितना एफर्ट लगेगा दैट एफर्ट इज नॉट वर्थ इट ठीक है सो दैट्स वाई आई एम टेलिंग यू की जो जो पॉइंट में आपको बता रहा हूँ वो याद कर लू फ्रोजन स्क्विड इज दी फोर्थ लार्जेस्ट एक्सपोर्ट आइटम दिस मच फैक्ट इज ओनली इनफ हेयर ड्राइड आइटम्स इसमें आपको कुछ भी याद करने की जरूरत नहीं है राइट नाउ टॉप ओवरसीज मार्केट में यूएस जो था वो सबसे नंबर वन का मार्केट था विच इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फैक्ट यूएसए कंटिन्यूज टू बी द मेजर इंपोर्टर ऑफ इंडियन सी फूड इन वैल्यू टर्म्स विद इंपोर्ट वर्थ ट्वेंटी सिक्स थर्टी टू पॉइंट जीरो एट मिलियन डॉलर अकाउंटिंग फॉर अ शेयर ऑफ थर्टी टू पॉइंट फाइव टू परसेंट इन टर्म्स ऑफ यूएस डॉलर वैल्यू दिस फैक्ट इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट द टॉप मार्केट वॉज यूएसए फॉलोड बाय चाइना followed by china again these numbers are not important followed by european union which was at number 3 so usa china european union fourth number pe southeast asia fourth largest market then it was japan number 5 and sixth number pe tha middle east theek hai to ye aap ek order yaad rakh lo first pe hai usa then uske baad hai china uh, then number 3 pe kaun hai number 3 pe european union yes european union then southeast asia then japan and then middle east this order you should remember you should remember this order theek hai ji so that is all this much is enough for you in this particular new and yeah this is the very important thing jo value hai financial year 22 23 mein export ki aur ya volume aur value dono aapko yaad rakhni hai so the volume is 17 lakh 35286 million ton million tons and the value is 63969.14 crore or 8.09 बिलियन डॉलर्स, ठीक है सो बिलियन डॉलर्स में भी याद रखना ऑप्शन सी इज द करेक्ट आंसर लेट्स टॉक अबाउट क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर विच इज अबाउट अ पोर्टल विच पोर्टल हैज बीन लॉन्च बाय इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर फाइनेंस सेक्रेटेरियट अंडर द मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ फाइनेंस फॉर प्रमोटिंग एंड फैसिलिटेटिंग पब्लिक प्राइवेट पार्टनरशिप इन इंडिया एंड ब्रिज द गैप बिटवीन पब्लिक एंड प्राइवेट सेक्टर्स सो द नेम ऑफ द पोर्टल गाइज इज पीपीपी इन इंडिया पोर्टल राइट सो एक्चुअली दो पोर्टल है उनको रिवैम किया गया है दैट इज पीपीपी इन इंडिया पोर्टल एंड आई आई पी डी एफ पोर्टल राइट आई आई पी डी एफ पोर्टल सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल हम पीपीपी इन इंडिया पोर्टल की बात करें तो इट इज डेडिकेट तो नाम से ही क्लियर है ना भाई वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट पब्लिक प्राइवेट पार्टनरशिप इन इंडिया तो इट इज डेडिकेटेड फॉर प्रमोशन एंड फेसिलिटेशन ऑफ पब्लिक प्राइवेट पार्टनरशिप इन इंडिया एंड हेल्पिंग इन ब्रिजिंग द गैप्स बिटवीन द पब्लिक एंड प्राइवेट सेक्टर्स एंड ऑल्सो द पब्लिक इन्वेस्टर्स एंड एंड ऑल्सो द private investors right it serves as a digital platform that brings together government entities private companies investors and entrepreneurs so that together they can foster the collaboration and innovation for the growth of the overall economy all right now this revamped portal aims to create a vibrant ecosystem that nurtures partnership encourages investment and facilitate exchange of knowledge and resources because only public sector agar use hoga pure desh mein तो गवर्नमेंट हैज नॉट मच रिसोर्सेस कि वो केवल पब्लिक सेक्टर के दम पे पूरा दुनिया पूरे देश का इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर बदल दे या फिर डेवलपमेंट कर दे सो देर इज एन इमेंस नीड ऑफ प्राइवेट सेक्टर देर इज एन इमेंस कंट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ प्राइवेट सेक्टर सिंस नाउ एंड इन फ्यूचर आल्सो देर इज अ नीड ऑफ कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ प्राइवेट सेक्टर एंड दैट्स वाई द गवर्नमेंट इज फोकसिंग ऑन दी कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन फ्रॉम दी प्राइवेट सेक्टर राइट now talking about iipdf portal so now this portal remember guys has been launched under iipdf scheme which we have discussed recently i believe two weeks ago that's india infrastructure project development fund scheme and it has been launched for submitting applications under this particular scheme right it will allow project sponsoring authority to apply online under this particular scheme right so that is all and what is the correct answer then the correct answer will be option c ppp in india portal Okay, now let's talk about question number five. Very, very important question because about uh, this is about the national uh, fourth edition of National Water Awards 2022, which were awarded, which have been awarded in eleven categories. Okay, so let's talk about it. 
so what you have to find how many pairs are correctly matched you don't have to identify which pair is correct or incorrect you have to identify how many pairs are correctly matched all right so these are the awards in 11 categories and guess ho sake to kar lena major major jo hai wo to at least kar hi lena baaki main to ye advise karunga ki 11 ke 11 categories karke jao because these days the level of examination is very high so you never know ki kaun si category se wo log ek question puchhenge you don't know that from which category they are going to ask any question so the best state very very important that's madhya pradesh best district very very important ganjam district of odisha best village panchayat very important jagannathpuram village panchayat of telangana best urban local body again important chandigarh municipal corporation best media advance water digest private limited which is in gurugram in haryana best school is jamiatpura primary school of mehsana in gujarat best institution for campus usage was shri mata vaishnavi devi shrine board of jammu and kashmir best industry baroni thermal power uh, station which is in begusarai of bihar best ngo was arpan seva sansthan of udaipur rajasthan best water user association was sanjeevni piyat sahkari mandali limited of narmada in gujarat and best industry for csr activity was excel technologies limited in noida in uttar pradesh very very important things right now talking about these national water awards so remember the instituting ministry is ministry of jal shakti and these awards and recognize and encourage the exemplary works and efforts made by the cities municipal corporation village panchayat state schools in the area of you know water conservation and in the area of in achieving the commitment of government's vision of jal samriddh bharat or you can say jal jeevan mission ke under बेसिकली जो हमारा टारगेट है वो सारे के ओवरऑल वाटर कंजर्वेशन वाटर प्रिजर्वेशन ग्राउंड वाटर कंजर्वेशन इन सभी एरियाज में जो इन सब ऑर्गेनाइजेशंस ने स्टेट ने यू नो डिस्ट्रिक्ट ने इंडिविजुअल्स ने वट जिनको जितनी भी कैटेगरी है उन्होंने काम किया उनको रिकोगनाइज और एनकरेज किया जाता है इट वॉज लॉन्च इन दू थाउजेंड एंड एंड द फर्स्ट रैंकर are given 2 lakh rupees prize followed by second 1.5 lakh and third 1 lakh theek hai aur ye sare jitne bhi hain ye first rankers hai theek hai all right so let's identify how many players are correctly matched best state is not uttar pradesh that's madhya pradesh best district is not indore that's ganjam of odisha ganjam district of odisha best urban local body is chandigarh municipal corporation best village panchayat is jagannathpuram village panchayat telangana yes and best industry is Bar- baroni thermal power station so only two pairs oh all right so correctly wale batane three pairs will be the correct answer option c all right guys now let's talk about the questions in short but before that if you want to have the pdf of this class you can join the telegram channel the link is provided in the description question number 6 india has expressed its willingness to host the 2025 International Institute of Administrative Administrative Sciences Annual Conference at Kochi in Kerala in the month of February in the same year. Where are the headquarters of IIAS located? The IIAS is located in Brussels. Option A is the correct answer. Which PSU under Ministry of Power has climbed 52 positions to secure 433rd rank in the Forbes list of the Global 2000 for the year 2023? This PSU guys, जो भारत सरकार की बहुत ही कमाल की पी एस यू है और बहुत उमदा प्रदर्शन रहता है इसका दैट्स एन टी पी सी लिमिटेड ऑप्शन ए इज द करेक्ट आंसर विच मिनिस्ट्री और मिनिस्ट्री इज इन एसोसिएशन विद ओडिशा गवर्नमेंट ऑर्गेनाइज दी फर्स्ट जनजातीय खेल महोत्सव एट दी कलिंगा इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ सोशल साइंसेज इन भुवनेश्वर द मिनिस्ट्री इन क्वेश्चन इज मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ कल्चर विदाउट एनी डाउट ऑप्शन ए इज द करेक्ट आंसर रेटेड बाई जी किशन रेड्डी क्वेश्चन नंबर नाइन Which African country's first Agri Special Economic Zone project has been flagged off from New Delhi? Very important question. इसके बारे में डिटेल में जब आएगा तो पढ़ेंगे. So it has been flagged off from New Delhi for for Gabon. Option C is the correct answer. The third meeting of G20 Digital Economy Working Group concluded recently in Pune in Maharashtra. Which of the following were the priority areas of this third meeting? Priority areas आपको बताने हैं. The priority areas were digital public infrastructure, digital finance was not there, digital scaling and cyber security. So one, three, and four is the correct answer. Option number B. All right. 
Question number 11, which centralized blood bank management information system has been launched by Ministry of Health and Family Welfare to ensure a robust record of blood donors and expedite blood availability when in need. So there is only one port, such portal here and that is the e Coast portal. Option B is the correct answer. And question number 12, who has introduced a new and comprehensive grievance redressal assessment and index from May 2023 onwards comprising four dimensions and 12 indicators. This will be discussed when released in detail and uh, this has been released by Ministry of Personal, Public Grievances and Pension. And the four dimensions which, is, which this index is talking about are efficiency, feedback, domain and organizational commitment. Option D is the correct answer. And the last question for today, but not the least, where has the, uh, where has been 111, 101st, no, not 101st, 111th, sorry, International Labor Conference of International Labor Organization held. So it took place in Geneva. Option B is the correct answer. All right, guys. So that is all for today. I hope all the questions and their explanations are clear. If you have any doubts, you can ask me in the comment section and I will see you in the next class on Wednesday. Till then, keep studying and keep studying hard. Goodbye, take care and God bless.